tuning Oracle Net services, shared servers, and dedicated servers. There are a number of things that we can do to tune Oracle Net services in general. First of all, on the server size, you can change the listener queue size. The listener has a queue where requests coming into the listener for connections to the database are simply queued up and serviced in the order in which they were placed on the queue. Now, obviously, if you want to service more requests at once, you can increase that listener queue size. Another thing you can do is the listener can actually be configured to perform extensive logging and tracing. You can switch all that logging and tracing off. That would help performance. You can also use multiple listeners and you can load balance between those two listeners. So obviously with a very large number of connections, you can balance between multiple listeners such that when one listener is busy, another listener will be used in favor of the first since it is not as busy as the first one. There is also the matter of dedicated and shared server environments. Shared servers basically allow connection pooling. A dedicated server starts up a server process on the database to serve each connection. If you've got very large numbers of users, this is not necessarily very efficient. Shared servers, on the other hand, will allow server processes far fewer than that required in a dedicated server environment where the shared server processes will switch between multiple connections. This is what connection pooling is. The only thing to mention about shared servers is it's not necessarily all that efficient and additionally with modern internet type OLTP applications connection pooling is often serviced on application or web servers anyway. Other than the server side, on the client side you can change what's called the STU buffer which is basically the chunk of information sent over the network by the Oracle Net Services software. You can make it bigger, you can make it smaller. If you've got large transactions, you could fiddle with this buffer and make it bigger. For very small transactions, you can make it smaller. It's basically a network packet size, or the equivalent of within the Oracle Net Services layer of software. You can also fiddle with the client-side configurations, such as in the TNS names file for a TNS name server configuration, tuning the configuration depending on what your network and your application and database are actually doing. In other words, the application type. 